hammied this off 59 chevy apache short bed fleet side excellent body style truck this truck is sitting on an o2 silverado chassis the whole chassis and drivetrain so it's got the 5.3 vortec um, 4L60 trans, the rear end out of the silver out of the whole the whole nine, um, and the the chassis had sixty five thousand on it. I was told so. It's supposed to be a sixty five thousand mile um, silver auto. This is a driver. It's not a show truck by any means. Um, it does, I've been using it for a shop truck, running and picking up parts, runs and drives great, just like an O2 Silverado would. But uh, paint job is an amateur paint job. Guy did not mask anything, so it's got lots of overspray. Interior's uh, decent. Got some nice seats in it. Got the column out of the Silverado, the gauges out of the Silverado. I do have an AC kit for it. It's not hooked up. And it does have a heater box, although it's not really putting out heat and I didn't look into it. The driver's side uh, wiper does work. Headlight signals and all that works. Got a star right there on the windshield. But overall, I mean, it's in pretty nice shape, okay? Now this is, I mean, it's got Bondo in it and stuff. It's not like a Bondo machine, but it they did a, a pretty amateur paint paint job on it. Let me fire this thing up. So just like a Silverado, it fires up. I've got a nice tune on it, so no engine lights are on. Airbag light will continue to stay on. You could actually pull that bulb out of the cluster to get rid of that. But good oil pressure, doesn't overheat. Ga gas gauge, all the gauges work, hooked up. Uh, push this, because the lights will come on automatically every time you start it. So you push that three times and the lights go off. Um, Take a look under the hood. Did mount the hood with the hinge on the front. So it comes up like that. You can see that overspray kind of went everywhere. But here's that 5.3. I've got the compressor to that kit. It needs to be installed. Probably some lines made. But there you have it. 